Hey YouTube, Bortle here, bringing you our top 25 rarest and most expensive Yu-Gi-Oh cards, 2018 edition. That's all right guys, let's start off the year with our most rarest cards. And in this video, the prices that I am quoting, we have used TCG Player, eBay, and CardMarket.com to quote these prices. Obviously, you can get these cards cheaper than that because you want to shop around for the best price then you know go for it I'm just giving you an idea of what these cards are worth and what you can buy them for today so yeah let's get to it we're gonna start from numbers 25 and go all the way down to our number one pick we have it at number 25 elemental hero magma neos this is a secret rare first edition card and it is probably one of the only fusions that came secret in uh, an actual booster set. And this card is in mint condition. Also, there are no PSA grade A cards on, in this video because I believe that whole system is boozy. But when I decide to get rid of my cards, I'll probably send them off to get PSA graded so I can make loads of money. Yeah, so all these cards you're going to see in this video are Bortle PSA graded 10. Yep. Elemental Hero Magma Neos. If you want this card, it's about 70 bucks on eBay or TCG Player. That's Elemental Hero Magma Neos taking spot 25. Number 24, we have Lumina Lightsworn Summoner. This is a super rare card from Champion Pack 8. It's worth about 80 to 100 bucks. And this card's pretty cool. It used to be relevant, now it is not. But it's collectible and we love it. This dragon right here, guys, is first edition, mint condition, and wow, this is a pretty card right here. From Invasion of Chaos itself, the Envoy of the End, Chaos Emperor Dragon, taking spot 23. If you want this card, it's worth about $80. It's near mint condition, and they're going to errata this card soon, so you guys need to pick them up quick before they double in price or maybe more. Who knows? That hype, man. We're always on that hype train. So yeah, that's that. Coming in number 22 is Rainbow Dragon First Edition Ghost Rare. Yes, it is. It is mint condition. If you want this card at the moment, it's about 90 bucks online. This card is it's pretty, guys. It's a Ghost Rare. They no longer make Ghost Rare. So if you want a Ghost Rare, you have to get one of the older packs to get a Ghost Rare. Maybe in the future we'll have a boozy new ghost rare. So yeah, Rainbow Dragon taking in number 22. And coming in hot at spot number 21, we have Yuria, Lord of Searing Flames. This is ultimate rare, first edition. This is the GX era. All these GX cards are becoming retro, so they're highly collectible. Yep. We have this guy at spot number 21, Yuria. He's worth about 150 bucks. It is one of the new Ghetto God cards. And I don't have his other two siblings because this is the most expensive one, I think. So yeah, Yuria, the ulti first dead, right? And at spot 20, we have Garma Sword. Wow, this random card right here. And this is also our first tournament pack card on the video. This card right here used to be worth nothing, but because, you know, as time goes on, people want to collect these old, obscure TP cards. Yeah, Garmus Sword. This card right here, if you want to try and pick it up, it's worth about $150. Jeez, that's a lot. Again, guys, I'm just quoting what I see online. You can probably get it much cheaper. Anyway, Garmus Sword takes spot number 20 on our countdown. Yeah. Number 19 goes to Cannon, the Sword Mistress. Oh my goodness, this is a girl card. Oh, that's so cool. And they're, it's also sealed. Look at that, it's sealed, guys. Yeah, this is a super rare price card given at Japan Nationals, I believe. And yeah, this card right here, there's so many out there. I don't know why, but it's the cheapest out of the four vanillas. That's sealed. You can get it for about 150 USD. Yeah, check it out, guys. Super Rare Cannon taking number 19 on our countdown. So, yeah, there you go. Nice, nice, nice. Number 18, we have Sen Jin Jin. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Yo, guys, this is it. This is the real one. This isn't that boozy WCS English one. This is Asian English. If you check it out right here, it says AE right there. 
That stands for the Asian English. Yeah, look at that. This car right here, if you want it, it's worth about $150, I believe, because of a buyout. But it's the real one, so make sure you get this one. See, it has Asian English right there. Check it out. The logo on the back means it's Asian, and then if it's you know English on front, Asian English. <laughs> so we have here Fortress Well, take number 17. This card's worth about 200 bucks. And again, like Garmasaur, this is just a highly collectible card because it's super rare. Yeah, look at this Minty Well. It's one of my favorite cards. Back in the day, I sold this bad boy for like 40 bucks, like six years ago. And I regret that decision because, yeah, it's 200 bucks right now. So, yeah, that's Fortress Well for you guys, number 17. Number 16, we have Book of Moon. Wow, this is an English Book of Moon print right here. Mint, guys, this is it. This is worth that 200 bucks, I believe. And it's mint. It's not that near mint. It is mint. Nothing wrong with it. There's other languages of this card. They're obviously cheaper than, you know, the English print because English is the most sought after language in the Yu Gi Oh! trading card game. Book of Moon, super rare. Champion pack. Yeah. Nice. Minty fresh, guys. This card is hot. Hot, hot, hot. All right. Coming in at number 15. Dark Magician Girl. Wow. This is a girl card, guys. First edition, Magician's Force, mint as fresh. Yes, minty. This card is beautiful, guys. First edition mint. This card right here, if you want it, it's about $250. Uh, if, of course, if it's PSA graded, it's worth maybe like double that. Who knows? And yeah, guys, this is mint condition. It's a pretty card. And next on our countdown is number 14, Black Rose Dragon, guys. Ghost Rare, first edition, 5Ds Dragon right here. All the 5Ds Ghost, most of them, uh, this and his cousin, man, they're they're expensive right now, guys. Over 250 USD currently for near mint. But this is mint, no scratches. Check it out, man. Look at that card. Man, it's so Ghost Rare-ish. Look at that. So pretty, man. This card is amazing looking. Anyway, his cousin, Stardust Dragon, yes, Jaden's main card right here. I'm sorry, I mean you say, <laughs> duh. First edition, Ghost Rare, man, this is Bortle, PSA 10 right here, straight up. No scratches, this is a mint card, guys. The near mint ones on eBay right now, if you zoom in, they have scratches like crazy. This right here is a mint one. This can fetch like 250 to 300 bucks. Yes, guys, that's a lot of money, but hey, man, it's mint, and it's totally worth it. Stardust, first edition, Ghost Rare. If you have this in your binder, take good care of it. These cards are expensive. We have number 12 on our list. Number 93, Utopia Kaiser. Or Kaiser. This card is from last year's prize card. Uh, given to second to fourth place. Second to third place, sorry. Sometimes in random raffles. Funny story. My brother, I mean, uh, <clears throat> team member Campos here. Uh, was called for a random raffle at YCS Dallas for the Mine Hacker. That guy decided to go out for lunch, and guess what? He missed out because you have five minutes to claim your spot. Poor dude. Anyway, yeah, this card right here, if you want it, it's about 200 USD, a little bit more. Anywho, it's a price card, and it has Utopia in it. Cool card right here. And next on our list is number 11, Ciaryu. Yeah, this pink dragon here is pretty cool. Most people have seen this card before because it came from a very old Game Boy Color game, I believe. Yeah, it's secret rare though, but this one is super rare. This is one of the four vanillas from the Asian English series. Japan Nationals prize card, Ciaryu. Yep, this card right here costs about 270 USD on that cardmarket.com website. Ciaryu, mint condition seal. Check that out, man. Pink dragon right here. Yep, giving that year 2006. Ciaryu, pink dragon. Cool. Next card. ASD Ascension Sky Dragon takes number 10 on our countdown. Wow, this card is so cool looking. It looks like Slifer, but it's white. This card right here, same thing as Kaiser, is a super rare price card given for the, you know, same as Kaiser, right? Yeah, this card is so cool. It's legal and it's nice looking. Yeah, pretty card right here, guys. It's about 300 bucks if you want to pick one up. Ascension Sky Dragon taking number 10 on our countdown. Alright, number 9 goes to this Pegasus Firewing card. Yeah, look at this pony with wings, guys. This card is 
the last of our vanilla price card set from the Japan Nationals. This is unsealed, but it's still very valuable because it's a pony. Asian English, check it out, guys. Yeah, this card right here can fetch anywhere from like 300 to 350 USD. I think that's overpriced, but hey, that's how much you can buy one today. Firewing Pegasus, guys. This card is cool looking. Check it out. A pony with wings. Yeah. Securing spot number nine. Pretty cool card. And here we go. Spot A goes to Blood Memphis. Oh man, this card is amazing. This card's also featured in one of my deck profiles on the channel. Yeah, Blood Memphis. This card is so cool because it has blood in the name. This is like the only Yu-Gi-Oh card that has blood in the name. If this card will ever get to uh, achieve that reprint status, it's probably going to lose the blood out of its name. What were they thinking? This is one of the coolest price cards out there. If you want this card right now, it's like 600 USD or just wait to bid for it on eBay. That's a lot of money right there. 600 bucks for this? No way. Yeah. Oh man, Desvol's Gaff. Oh, it's PT1. Pharaoh's Tour price card right here. This is securing our spot for number seven. Desvol's Gaff right here. 2008 Summer Cup Trophy. If you can somehow get the card out of its acrylic case, it's probably worth like one to two hundred more dollars. Jeez, I wouldn't want to risk it though because that case looks nice anyway. Well, this card right here, guys, is worth like five to six hundred dollars. Yeah, this is pretty cool. This is uh, Europe's equivalent to our Shonen Jump prize cards, but they have the PT cards instead. Yeah, check it out, man. Ultra Rare Desvol Gap. And it's cool acrylic case. The only case that's not our Ultra Pro case in this video. Cool card, guys. Very nice. Yeah, check it out. Look at that case. Very nice. Cool stuff right there, guys. Yeah. Number six, Dark Paladin. What? First edition, Magician's Force. Why is this here? Guess what? It's the corrected art. Yeah, guys. This is the corrected art version. You've probably, uh, probably seen the other one. It's very... Uh, very likely because that was the first one mass produced. It's the one that looks like the dual uh, dual masters guide. I don't know the DMG one, the secret rare version. Yeah, this is the ultra rare version, the corrected art. The only way to obtain this is to send the other one to UDE, which is Upper Deck Entertainment, at that time to get this version. Yeah, guys, you have to mail mail in the other one to get this one. And that's why this card is so rare, and this is really minty, minty, minty. Alright guys, there's only one copy online right now for 2500 bucks. but guess what? That's PSA graded. That's outrageous. The street price on this card is probably six to 800 bucks, to be honest. But man, it is so mint. This card is so clean, guys. Check it out. The Corrected Art Dark Paladin. Securing spot number six on our countdown. Yeah. Number five. Oh, we're at top five already. Guys, top five. The fifth spot goes to King Landia, the gold thing. Oh, man. 2012 Asian English right there. This is the super rare copy. The Ultra was given the previous year, 2011. But this bad boy, yes, it's unsealed, but it is minty fresh, guys. And this right here, there's only a couple online. Cardmarket.com has them for like, I think, 900 bucks. Yo, that is a lot. So I'm pretty sure you can get this cheaper elsewhere. Hint, hint. So yeah, guys, King Landia taking number five on our countdown. Can't believe it, guys. We're already down to our last five cards. Been it's been pretty fun so far. Yeah. So let's go with number four, guys. What is number four? Oh, it's Tear, the Vanquishing Warlord. Man, this card artwork. Look at it. It looks so cool, guys. Super rare. Man, this card is bad A right here, guys. This card was given out 2008, uh, I believe. Japan Nationals, or actually it's a world's price card, yeah? But anywho, if you want this card, it is about 900 bucks. Jeez, that's eBay and CardMarket.com. It's unsealed, but anywho. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Our number three goes to the Garth Cole. Oh my goodness, the ultra rare gold sarcophagus. This card right here is from PT3. This is Pharaoh's Tour price card, equivalent to the Shonen Jump price card, Gold Sarko. Yeah, guys, this right here, if you want this card, it's worth about a thousand bucks. It's actually on sale right now for like 1100 and there's another copy for like 1400 and That is insane amount for this card. I would like to think this is as much as the other Shonen Jump price card, Gold Sarko. Uh, so yeah, this makes it to the third, the last three, guys. Here we go. 
our number two. Whoa, Legendary Dragon of White. This is not that secret rare, that boozy copy that everyone has in their binders. This right here is the super rare replica version of the ultra rare price card. This is the super one. And check it out, it is sealed. Minty, fresh, sealed. Just cause it, oh man guys, this is insane. It's a dragon and dragons are worth a lot of money guys. This right here is insane money. There's only one out there right now currently on the market for like $1,400 USD, man. That is crazy. Uh, one's recently sold on eBay. It was a best offer taken for like $1,200 or less than $1,200, I think. Anywho, this card is cool and it deserves that number two spot. Oh, number one. Jeez. I, guys, Stardust Divinity takes number one. This card right here, guys, this is, it's insane. It, look, it's a fairy. Oh my goodness, but it has Stardust in the name. It's insane right here, guys. This card right here deserves to take number one. It's our most rarest and most expensive card on the list. The reason why, there was under 60 of these in the world, the super rare version. Because when these were given out, there was nasty tsunamis that hit Japan, so there wasn't a lot of competitors for that national i'm sorry worlds yes this card right here insane expensive guys man the top 25 geez dude stardust divinity deserves that number one spot mint condition unsealed yeah guys this card right here if you want it it's about 2400 usd yep i've recently seen one sold for about 2k so yeah there you have it so guys, I hope you enjoyed that top 25 video of our most rarest and expensive cards. What I have right here, guys, is TCG Player. Just to show you, you know, how to use it. Well, everyone should know how to use it by now because you guys keep quoting your cards off of it. Guess what, guys? This is the same thing as eBay. Yeah, it's targeted towards like brick and mortar stores, but they just get a little discount using it. Anyone can use this website to sell their cards. So yeah. Blood Mat Fist 600, uh, the Ultra Rare version 1900, oh that's pretty cool, you don't really see a lot of Ultra Rare cards online for sale because of all the fees man. <laughs> so yeah, we have the Super Blood Mat Fist and the Ultra right here on TCG Player. So that is that, let's click on to the eBay, whoa, eBay has Blood Mat Fist for 602, weird. Oh my, what the heck, look at that, a $2,300 $2, Ultra? Jeez, the one time, I'm just kidding, the TCG player is usually cheaper than eBay, but it's the other way around too, it's it's weird that way. Anywho, you lowest buy it now, that's how you buy the cheap cards, you see that 250 up there, yeah, that's a common proxy, I guess, it's a fake card. And sometimes you want to type in EN to get uh, English cards, see, eliminated that fake card up there. Yeah, and the last tab, cardmarket.com is the last tab. This is where we find the obscure and rare world price cards. There's actually mostly all price cards on this website, all the supers at least. The ultras are really hard to find someone to sell it. And right here we have Divinity for like 1,999 euros. That translate into 2,400 USD about. Yee, that's a lot of money, guys, for that super rare. And guess what? It's open just like mine. So, wow. My Divinity can fetch up to $2,400. That is insane. So, yeah, that's that's that. Hopefully, you guys like the video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and drop some comments down below. And, yeah, that's that. Bordo out.